Okay, Gladys. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey. How was your day? Uh, busy, no, hectic. Hey, that's right, hectic, you remember, excellent. Hectic. yeah. Excellent, okay. Yeah. One of those days, huh? Oof. Yeah. All right, it's good the day is over, that we have a chance to relax a little bit. Okay. Hi, how are you, Vero? Thank you, fine, thank you. Are you? How I'm are you? okay. You you sound very soft, Vero. Do you have a... Yeah, I have this problem. Okay, no problem. I think, try moving your mic. Try moving the mic a little bit down, maybe a little bit more. Try there. Okay, try now yeah. speaking. Yeah, it's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. It is better? Yeah, wait, remember, when you have the microphones like this, what you want is for the line to be with your mouth. That way it goes directly for the sound. Okay. Because look, look what happens when I change my microphone. You hear, listen to the sound, very different. Here, a little bit better, but here, here, exactly. This is the best part for, for your listening. Okay. Okay. Now? Yeah, yeah, it's still a little soft, but don't worry about it. The idea is we got it. We can, as long as we can hear you and we can communicate, that's the most important. Okay. All right, guys. So first things first, we're going to form our groups. We want to make sure we get started um, right away. We're not going to talk about the, the day today. We're not going to talk about your day. We're going to talk about future plans. We're going to talk about this weekend, how you celebrate the holiday, where you're going to go, what are you going to do, uh, what foods you enjoy, whatever your partner wants to ask and whatever you want to answer. We're going to take 10 minutes. Use only future tenses or present tense for routines. As an example, I always visit the cemetery or I, uh, my family prepares, I don't know, um, I don't know, jocotes en miel, whatever it is that you guys, I don't know what you guys like to eat or something like this, okay? Or in the future tense, I'm going to whatever action, okay? So looking at future tenses or uh, routines, present tense, talking about this weekend and the holidays. You ready? Yes. Ready. All right, let's go. 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yep, only 10 minutes. You got to go fast. Yeah, hey, how are you? I'm gonna send you, you have problems, Carlos, to join in the group? Okay, yeah. Okay, let me try one more time. Sorry, I don't know what happened. No problem, Carlos. We'll try another group. No problem. We'll try another group. There we go. Patricia, you need to accept. There you go. Sunday and, and Monday, a long weekend. That's it. Yeah. Stay at home. Yeah, stay at home. <laughs> a long weekend for stay at home. Uh, me too. I, that day is a little bit difficult to me because I lost my dad three years ago. So it is kind of sad to me, but okay. each, each year it's better than the last one. So I, I, I think I, I'm going to do very well the, my loss. So 
I will go to the mass at morning, and then uh, we we are going to be at home. It's a good question. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I just I just know young, but <laughs> yeah, me too. So on Monday I will to take a breakfast with my friends, and I'm so excited about it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I don't have any plans. I I think I got. Yeah, it's a must. We need to go into the work in every holiday. Oh, okay. And what about you, Patricia? Patricia, are you there? I think Excuse she's having. Ah, oh, there she is. I, I, I played in the classroom because I finished my work on, at um, uh, Nike. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a good tradition. At least, but I'm not sure if it's just local. But I think that is something like the Independence Day. That in Mexico, in all the cities in America, celebrate the same day and the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I like it. I I like it. I <laughs> I, I I have the opportunity to 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 uh, meet uh, with uh, uh, old people or just some friends. Uh, I I can. I can see for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like the when, when you met we meet with your relatives that like the in the greetings and in the specific celebration or or uh, I don't know like a baby shower or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty common, but it's really good to to take advantage of that kind of day or celebration or holiday that uh, basically we have to obviously not. Uh, do things like uh, drink like alcohol or or make things that you won't be honest or something like that, I think. Yeah, okay. Rocio Edwin, can you share with us your plan for... <laughs> I go late, I'm sorry. Don't worry about late. it. Okay. Hey. Yair, we are, we are sharing about uh, what we are going to do this, this holiday. And I don't know what, if you want to, to share with, with us. Okay, um, I don't know, uh, but I think I will, I, I will visit, um, the cemeterio. My mother died since uh, seven years, and the last the last um, year I can visit for this day. But I think he, I think um, in the Monday I go. I will go. I think you will go. Oh. Yes. I I think it's probably. I will do it. Okay. And Gladys, did you say that you are going to be at home too? Well, hi. Hi. Hi, we're just finishing the first activity, Chris. Hi. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Chris? Can you guys hear yes. me or no? Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay, because Chris yes. is like, Chris is like, hi, hi, and I, and I, maybe she doesn't hear me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. But All now, right. yes. 
All right, perfect. All right, well, like we said, only 10 minutes. We wanna uh, make sure that we keep our activities and topics uh, good, but we want to start working on trying to express ourselves faster because we know we have a short time, right? And when we have a short time, you don't have a lot of time to, yeah. well, um, let me think. No, 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 you have to come start coming and coming and coming. All right, so today we're gonna be looking at careers. Uh, jobs, personalities, things like this, okay? So before we begin is uh, we're gonna take a look at what type of jobs, okay? What, what type of uh, jobs do you like, do, do, would you like to do? Not, not jobs that you do, what jobs would you like to do? What are some jobs that you would enjoy doing, you think? Mm, I like uh, engineering. Uh, science. Okay, science or engineering. Okay, all right. Perfect. Like a like a scientist, uh, chemical engineer. Or? Yes, like a scientist. Okay. Engineer or like a teacher or like a coach. Okay. All right. Great. Anybody else? What other jobs would you like to be doing? I would like to be a painter, like an artist. Okay. Good, good. So we got a painter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Anybody else? Any other jobs? I like work and like um, YouTuber of trip for all work. Like for the trip advisors. Yes. Okay. That would be cool too, right? Nice, nice. Would like to be uh, as a professional soccer player, teacher. <laughs> All right, professional soccer player. Great, great idea. Maybe Our, influencer for not working. One more time, Gladys. One more time. Maybe what? Influencer or YouTuber, something. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. I want to be a nini. <laughs> <laughs> me too me too yeah there a what? a millionaire oh <laughs> <laughs> who does who does <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> only is possible only is necessary to, is going to happen in 30 40 years <laughs> this is the only problem you can be a, yeah. you can be a millionaire in 30 years <laughs> All right. Now, because of these jobs, today we're going to be looking at personalities because not every personality goes with every job, right? Some personalities are not good for specific jobs and other personalities are very good for jobs. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're going to look that's at. We're, we're, we're going to watch first just a small video on this, on jobs and personalities. Okay. The best jobs based on personalities. The topic is career moves. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? I want to make sure it's clear first. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes. great. All right, let's watch this video. I'm Jamie Fitch. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? 
The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. But they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. So they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science. But librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden? Thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. All right. So here, I hope you were able to hear everything. And the idea is, look and being able to understand the different types of, sorry, let me go back, uh, wrong click, the different types of personalities associated with each one of the careers. The good news is, help is available. Some students arrive on campus it's about choosing a major. Your personality type can best suit you. Six basic person. Investigative, stick. First type is artistic. Okay, so we have six personality types. What did you understand they said about each one? Let's start with artistic. What was the understanding of artistic? What kind of people or what kind of things do they like to do? They are creative. Mm -hmm. I, I made like, I, I don't know how to say, but jewelry, jewelry maker, I, I think. Okay, that's right. Jewelry makers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Artistic jewelry makers. That's good. Graphic designers. Graphic designers. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're getting the idea. What we're going to do is we're going to form our groups and we're going to discuss according to those six personalities, which type of personality are we? Which one are you, Elizabeth? Which one are you, Edwin? Which one are you, Carla? We're going to talk about the different personalities that we are. And we're going to talk about what jobs we can do for, or what jobs do we consider 
are appropriate for that type of personality, okay? So don't worry about the grammar, don't worry about those things, worry about giving or being able to give complete answers, complete sentences. You don't want to say mm, engineer, um, and me, uh, yeah, that's all. No, 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 you want, okay, I think I'm this type of personality and I would be good for this job or whatever, or this personality is good, these jobs are good for this type of personality, okay? So, one more time, with your partners, review the six personalities, okay? Talk about what jobs the personalities can do and then talk about you, what personality are you and what job do you think is best fitted for your personality? You guys ready? Yes, teacher. Teacher, could you please send us the image, the, the picture uh, with the six? We have it already at the WhatsApp chat. It's already in the oh. WhatsApp. It's already in the WhatsApp. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. A career advisor from the career services department is about choosing a major and a career path. What should? Let's see in the in the WhatsApp chat. Okay. And we have to talk about the six personality types. What can we say for the artistic people? Uh, like they say, they are cre creative and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I we can say that artistic people you have a, they have a very busy days and maybe travel for for all the war. Uh, if they are singers or they are something like that, they maybe. have an event. Yeah, I think right. that singers are artistic. Mm -hmm. I think that they are painter. for that. Painters most they most they like office, like uh, they like work in a uh, outside place. I think mm -hmm. no, without many rules that like like many of us do in in office in, in the office. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just working, you know, with myself <laughs> and nobody else <laughs> and just me and the numbers and, and nobody else. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Vani? Uh, in my case, I am like, I'm kind Elizabeth because I don't like to work in, I don't know, in team. However, I am, um, I have a team and it's a very difficult for me because I prefer to work alone. Uh, but I like the, the, the jokes that, I don't know, the creative jokes because I, I like uh, to think, I don't, I don't like the jokes that you have to stay in the same thing every day. Really? Yeah. You yes. have the artistic personality. Mm, I, I guess because <laughs> I saw <laughs> the, the kind of personality, so I guess I, I artistic. And, and, and it's the opposite that I do because I work in finance and I work mm. in, the, in the payment area. So in the past, I think, um, to study about uh, psychology. I really love about, all about that, all about that. And 
And that's what I, I, I read aloud and investigate. And I think that's, that's, that's are my, those are my, my types of personality, social and investigate. Yeah, and maybe it's just a kind of artistic, <laughs> but not too much. <laughs> a little. Uh, just a little, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how okay. about you, Jan? Jan? Um, I'm really, really, I don't know, but I'm quite sure that I conventional personality because I look, mm -hmm. I like. And I'm a little artistic, conventional, enterprising, and investigative, realistic, and social, I think, and social. <laughs> Okay. In my case, uh -huh. yeah, thank you. In my case, I think uh, I I am realistic, but because I, I am engineer, right? But uh, I I right now right now I I think uh, I development in uh, comfortable in enterprising because uh, and the, and in the past uh, I I have uh, some my own business and right now I I conducting or man I I have uh, some people that I I try to to teach and and right now too I I I am director of that program in, in, in El Salvador, right? That I, I management and, and some something, right? Going to the morning, uh, classes and polite things to take This, that's all. Really good. Basically, as I told you guys, basically we have a little bit of Hello. 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 Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> artistic, man. But low artistic personality. <laughs> yes. We have the artist in the group. I, I was thinking uh, in um, a professional uh, player, soccer player, for example. Oh. In what uh, in what um, personality you, you, do you think it's uh, it's belong for me, to? For me, they are the type, the artistic type, because. They are an entertainer, uh, I guess. They entertain people with the things that they... The other person, all the other person, all to other people. And, and I think it's really delicate because just a little mistake, you, you, get, you got to get fired, right? And yes. And, and it, it's some sometimes it's the disappointed, but you got to try to do the to do the best, right? Yeah. And I'm, yeah. In, I'm basically an enterprise. I think they got to be hand to hand because uh, all uh, both of them just got to to be patient and. And people really integrate with what a lot of, of areas that had affected. So basically, those kind of situation uh, really affect the 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 way to view the 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 future. So I, I think that we have to be, as I told you, polyvalent. Because basically, uh, if we are not prepared for those kind of changes, you can maybe, I don't know, maybe make a, a huge mistake. Yeah. I don't know for you.
Okay, great. Are there any questions regarding personalities, um, the jobs that they can do, or the, uh, the types of jobs for each personality? We have a question in our group. Okay. And I think it's people that, that play in a professional level, what kind of personality are they? They play what? They play uh, an instrument? Soccer, or? basketball. Soccer. Okay. okay. Professional players. Professional Jesus. players, that's it. Thanks. Okay, great. Uh, well, let's take a look at the, the personality. Depends. It, it really depends on what sport they play because remember the personality is not only about uh, the sport or the activity, it's also about what you do. Remember, if it's an individual sport, it's still the same personality. You don't like to be with other people, right? Which is different than if you're in a, into a group sport. So here we have artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Most of them would probably fall into the part of uh, a little bit of either social, okay, uh, with, um, with artistic probably. They only like to do one thing. Because remember, the, the personality of artistic is not like a, not only for singing and drawing. Remember the artistic? What is the definition is that is a person that likes to focus in one area. And just like a singer focuses in developing their voice, their sound, an actor uh, focuses on becoming a better or in, into a personality, like in a movie, they, they take this in. The same could be for the people that are at a professional level for sports. They, for them, if you talk to a soccer player or a football player at a professional level, they watch the other players, they know the other games, they, every, because they are focused in one thing. This is their profession. Maybe okay. like, maybe like a, a computer programmer. You talk to a computer programmer many times. They are focused in the, the new, uh, I don't know, new places or, or new forms on how to code or uh, new programs, new apps. I mean, because this is their life. Mm -hmm. So, that. yes, so, Ramon. <laughs> yes, but other aspect is, uh, is the, that the moment or the circumstance because uh, uh, I think uh, you do something that, uh, but the, the opportunity that uh, arrive in your life, you, you get, right? Yeah. You, you, and you realize that you are, are, are are best for that kind of uh, professional or, or activities, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um, I, I can remember, I think it was Arturo that said he worked at Tigo or, or Bane. I can't remember, right? It's one of them. I think it's Arturo though. I think Arturo works at, at Tigo. Both of us, Bane and I. Uh, ah, that's, what that, that's why I was confused. I said, I, I, I remember something like this. Okay. Yes. Now, now, both of them work at Tigo, the same company, but have different jobs because they have different personalities. And the Arturo's job is not good for Vane, and Vane's job is probably not good for Arturo. It doesn't make them happy. So just because you have that job doesn't mean that that's like your personality exclusively. Like Romulo said, sometimes you do it, but because the, person, the, the opportunity presented itself, you prefer not to do this, but this is the opportunity to eat. This is the opportunity to make money. And so you sacrifice what you should, what you would like to be doing to do this, to make money. Like in Tigo, I know specifically in Tigo that they have social outreach programs. This is uh, CSR, the, the um, uh, social responsibility they call now, right? And there are some people that they love to do this but their personality is social, but they work at, at the business, in the business area, because this is the opportunity that they have in order to do what they like. Okay. Me, I like talking, I like, I like meeting new people. So for me, I have two options. I have be a tour guide or be an English teacher, because the two offer the same thing, but, 
with this pandemic, what do you think I choose? <laughs> the tour guy is not going to happen. No, no, I always been an English teacher, but this is what I mean. It's, exactly, exactly. So just because the, the, the job seems like, oh, you are in a classroom or you are in this, but it's not that. I like interaction. I like communication. I like a different every day. My job is not the same. Every day I have different people. Every day we have different problems. So this is the, the good thing. Well, we're going to go ahead and continue. I'm glad we're learning and we're discussing. And that's the main idea, using our English and giving, asking questions, uh, expressing opinions, you know, and disagreeing with the partners. That's the best way to improve your speaking is when you disagree. Hmm, maybe not correct. Like, ah, yeah, because that makes that you have to interact more and you have to defend your opinion with facts, with words. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the best. So, you know, those confrontational people that are friendly, this is excellent for them. The people that, they, that are, they, they like to interact and talk. How, they, there, is a, there is actually a course in the schools, in the, in, in the high schools in the other country, it's called debate because they teach you how to fight with the person but with words. And even in the native language, this is excellent for helping you. So it's great, it's great if you have the opportunity, Ah, even if you agree with your partner, disagree. And you will find that ah, when you disagree, you have more communication and more practice. But if always you say, yes, yes, you are correct, Carlos. Yes, 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 uh, Gladys. Uh-huh, I agree with you. Uh-huh, what, what, what David said. And then there's no interaction. One day, tomorrow, in the next class, in the next one, try and say, no, 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 you're wrong. Hey, I guarantee you start to speak <laughs> with your partners. <laughs> Especially with uh, politics and or religion. Uh -huh. <laughs> Exactly, especially with those. All right. The next topic is actually gerund phrases. We are not going to watch the video. The video for me is very long. It's seven minutes and 58 seconds. It's almost eight minutes. And to be honest, I think it's eight minutes of our class time that you, if you want, you can watch the video. Because eight minutes you can do at home. But I need the eight minutes for us to speak, for us to talk. So here, I'm going to explain in the easy way. Gerunds are the verbs or the actions with ing. Phrases are a group of words. So gerund phrases are a group of words that have, that begin with a verb with ing. Okay. So for example, here, all of these are not things. All of them are actions with I and all of them are things with ing. Not, for example, movies. Movies makes me laugh. No, because we need a verb with ing. Okay? You need to have an action. As an example, windsurfing. This is the picture. This is windsurfing. Windsurfing is very exciting. Okay? So all of the things that you have for here with ing and then the complement. That is the idea for the class. That is the gerunds as subjects and objects, or as subjects at least in this case. Mm -hmm. All of the things. So for example, running is very tiring and I don't like to do it. Okay. Swimming is a great sport. That's what we're using. We're talking about the activity with ing and making a compliment. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So, for okay. example, here, okay, I, you can have, we can have an opinion. Okay. I suggest. I recommend. I, you know, I think. I believe. Whatever you want. Any anything that you like, but. When you have this with the verb with ing, for example, I recommend studying uh, the grammar. I recommend improving our schools. I recommend reading books. That is what the class is about. That is, that is this topic, the gerunds with ing, with the subjects and objects. 
because we're using them to talk about the things. So we take the action, and instead of having it as a verb, we use it as a noun, okay? So instead of saying he, she, we say, ah, running, swimming, cooking, okay? And then we put the same thing. Cooking is a wonderful way to relax. That's it. So you don't have to confuse with all of the things. Just think about, is ing with the complement of why that thing, whatever, whatever action it is, what it happens with it. So with your partners, here we have six sentences. They are incomplete sentences, and you're gonna put, not with the same verb, you're going to use different verbs. And how are the verbs? With ing. I am going to do number one as an example, okay, to make sure that it's clear, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so, um, okay, watching, watching people fall makes me laugh. I don't know if you have TikTok, but when the people are in the TikTok and they are going and then they fall or in YouTube and they, ah, I laugh and I laugh and I laugh, especially when they, <coughs> when they fall into the swimming pool, okay, falling, that's the idea. That's it. You just put a verb with ing and then the complement. And what is the verb with ing called? It is called a gerund. That's it. If you have time, if you would like to, then I recommend you watch the video 2.3 in the platform. But be prepared that the video is about eight minutes long. Okay, is everybody clear what we're going to do? Everybody has the picture in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go. You okay, Bessie? Okay. Um, okay, let's start. Let's start with the, the first sentences. I think. Um, I don't know if can I say the people making bad moving give give this give gives me a uh, uh, makes me happy or makes me laugh. Chris, can you repeat your sentence one more time? Yeah, uh, the people making bad movie makes me laugh. No, because you need. No. no, no, yes, but no, no, it's not correct grammatically, <laughs> but because you need to uh, eliminate the, because when you talk about general, it's not the people, or, or only you put people, people making bad movies. Oh. And it's correct, say teacher, that watching people loud make me laugh no yes that's also correct watching people laugh make me laugh makes me laugh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now chris yes you said uh, people making bad movies yes okay you don't so the movies that are not good are the ones that you think are funny Yeah, some some movies. Okay. No, not all, but some movies. Yes, is 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 are really bad that you can see the bad effects. For example. Okay. 
Okay, I got I got what you're saying. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right. Okay, so in this case, probably it would be uh, the the making of bad movies makes me laugh because it's not the people that make you laugh; is the the movies that the way they make them. Do do you understand that, what I, I mean? Like okay. Uh -huh, because what what for you is yeah funny. yeah. Is the the action not the people that do the the that make the movies? For you, it's funny that okay. the bad effects. For you, it's funny that the I don't know the the sound or the different things like this. Yes, the okay. exaggeration. I don't know. Yes, exaggeration. Exaggeration. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have all of the ingredients I need for a recipe. Yeah, good. But just in that case, I don't want to cook when I don't have like all the ingredients. Ah. Uh -huh. Let me try another one. In... Uh, eating with my family is one of the best things to, in the day that I have. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. do a dinner, we all together. It's the only, the only meal that we can be together. So. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Another? Um, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, what else? Uh, that eating breakfast can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. yes, so yes. dangerous, but not paying the bills can be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bill? <laughs> if, if, you, if you change them, the phone number, maybe it's not dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher. Yeah. Carlos uh, say uh, <laughs> a very funny sentence in number five. He say that. What you say, Carlos? Carlos, uh, can you repeat it, please? Num <laughs> <laughs> number five. When babies start crying, they destroy the environment. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I have my. Are you agree, teacher? Here. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I think crying babies destroy the environment. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that we finish. Okay. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions for German phrases? Teacher, you caught us mm -hmm. with a with a nice conversation that we ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sentence number four is really good to to make a conversation. At least <laughs> because we are Salvadorian people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, good. All right. So now we are. I under... have a question, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what is the rule for use genomes? Is only behind the sentences is or 
or finish. What is the rule? Okay. Uh, gerunds are at the beginning of the sentence. They are the subject of the sentence. So when you have an action as the subject, it goes at the beginning. So washing, uh, cleaning, reading, cooking, working, whatever action you are going to talk about as the subject, this is going to be the gerund and it's going to be at the beginning. If you want to uh, express yourself, for example, I think, I believe, I feel, I, this can go before the gerund. This is your personal opinion, okay? These are the two positions where they can go. So it can go at the beginning without your personal uh, comment, or it can go first your personal comment, I think, I believe, uh, I agree, okay, or, or uh, I feel, and then the action. These are the two options that you have. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Any other comments? No. No. Okay. Great. That was 2.3. Now, that's important, and it's important because that means that for next week, we're already starting at 2.4, 2.5. So that means you should already be completed as a minimum with lesson one, and you should be coming up to about that page or to about that activity, okay? Now, why is that important? Because in the next activity, uh, activity 2.4, is using them, using the gerunds. Now, in this activity, if we look at the sentences or we look at the instructions, it says, unscramble the gerund phrases. Now, what does that mean? That means you are not going to add more words. You are not going to change the words. You are going to put the words, okay, all right, and then only the way that they have them there. So the idea for gerund phrases is, or for unscrambling, sorry, is for taking the words that are here and putting them in the correct order. Does that make sense? It's not that you have to write sentences, okay? You only have to organize. You have to put in the correct order. You guys, is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay. teacher. Yes. Okay, great, great, okay. So, one more time. We have already, our personalities are the six that we talked about. Those are the ones that are in the WhatsApp group in case you're not sure, okay? Those are the different personality types. Um, also talking about the next one was about the gerund phrases, which is what we just practiced. And we understand that it's just having the ING at the beginning, right? It's whatever action, uh, voting, choosing, uh, reading, whatever you want, okay? Now, always something that's important is with these, it says use a third person singular verb. So that means there is not going to be are. Always you're going to use the verb. If the verb to be is going to be with is, okay? You're going to think of it like he is, she is, whatever, because this is an it, okay? It is, it is. So always you think of these, the gerunds as the idea for an, an it, and that will make it easy for you to finish or to be able to write the sentences. And then in your knowledge check, all you have to do is put these words into the correct order. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. That's for the next. Uh, that is for this. That is for today, where we where we are finishing today. So that means, oh. yeah, today. Chef, we are starting the class. <laughs> no, nah, we already we already finished the week. We already finished the week, and we only we only really? in, in, it is it's very quickly because I want you to think we only have twelve classes. That's it. Okay. In, in twelve classes, okay. we we finished the module. Twelve classes. 
It's like this. Really? It's press. Yeah. Really like, fast. It's really fast. That's why for me, if you can watch the videos at home, watch the videos there. If they're short videos, okay. But long videos, I think we can use the time better for talking, communicating, practicing, because we don't have a lot of time, really one. You know, five minutes for one activity, five minutes for another activity. And when we feel ah, the conversation is finished, we are, we only did four or five activities and the hour is done. Okay. Okay. So relax, but finish up to 2.4. Yes. Have a good weekend. Relax. Don't work. Relax. <laughs> Not a lot. But finish 2.4 for Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 Good weekend for everyone. The good weekend for everyone. Sure. On Monday we are happy. On Monday no, no. we are okay. Remember, that means we don't drink. No okay. classes on Monday. Why? Class, class Tuesday through Friday next week. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. Because okay. Monday is the national holiday. Monday is the national holiday. Is, uh, yeah. I knew it. Friday. Friday. That's mm -hmm. the sleep. Yes. <laughs> After relax. you sleep and relax okay. after you finish 2.4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. Bye, okay. guys. Night, night, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Don't drink alcohol. <laughs> That's right. Not much. Not much. <laughs>